Hummingbirds. Hummingbirds are the smallest migrating birds. They don't migrate in flocks like other species and they typically travel alone for up to 500 miles at a time. The name hummingbird comes from the humming noise their wings make as they beat so fast. Did you know that hummingbirds are the only birds that can fly backwards? The average weight of a hummingbird is less than a nickel and their tiny legs are only used for perching and moving sideways while perch. Yes, hummingbirds can't walk or hop. There are over 330 species of hummingbirds in North and South America as well as the Caribbean. Oh yes, my royal family, blessed love, honorable priest Isaac here with you. And what you were just looking at a moment ago, is a short video taken from our international homeschool program. That one was speaking about the hummingbird. In fact, that is a part of our newly developed uh, uh, early childhood learning program. Now, of course, family, for those of you who do not know, we have a very efficient international homeschool program. It is not necessarily a substitute for the system's um, educational program. But it can substitute it, that's for sure. But it definitely supplements it if you have your child in the whole, uh, programs that the, the national education system provides. So our international homeschool program, it provides obviously African history and African heritage. We also provide biology. And I mean in-depth biology, but of course it has been prepared in a way that the young minds can swallow it. And then we also provide astronomy. Yes, we teach the young ones about the heavens, about the stars, about the comets, the meteorites, the meteors. Our children know all of this, those who are on our international homeschool program. Family, the parents of the children that partake of our international homeschool program, they're definitely satisfied. You yourself would have heard testimonies from children. You yourself would have heard testimonies from parents who are on our international homeschool program. For sure, they, uh, they will learn their key Swahili. They will definitely get into the yoga and, of course, even their, their language arts. All of that is a part of our international homeschool program. In fact, what we're going to do today, we're going to be taking a quick look into the Abu Simbel Temple in ancient Kemet, built by Ramesses II. Believe it or not, even the young children, we expose them to all of these things. What I'm going to show you today, we expose the young minds in our international homeschool program to this level of education. And keep in mind, that we have a very special offer on the International Homeschool Program for a limited time. I cannot tell you how uh, long of a time this limited time will be, but for sure, it will be a limited time, only $199, my family, only $199, a very, a very inexpensive investment to make into the psychology, into the minds of your child, because our children, I should say, because the reality is it all begins in the mind. It's the mindset, how you think. And of course, we would all love it uh, 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 if our young ones would grow in a way that they have a, a, a strong appreciation, a strong love, and of course, a strong understanding of their African history and heritage. You don't want your children to be, you know, growing up, even if they're growing up under your conscious um, umbrella, but yet still, oh, they're not too interested in Africa. Oh, they're not too interested in consciousness. Why? Because maybe you did not find the time to, to drill it into them the way that you wanted them to get it. In fact, the videos you watch, the documentaries you watch, the books you read, uh, that may not be something that excites them, but we have created an international homeschool program that excites them. We have created a curriculum that they would love. As I said, this has been tried and proven. 
I'm not pitching something to you and hoping that it works. This has been tried and proven. The parents and the students that go through our international homeschool program, they're all satisfied and they're all happy for sure. I mean, the young ones contact me and, and they tell me that they have seen this star and they can identify this star and they have mapped out this constellation. Uh, 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 the children will contact us and tell us of the different African tribes that they are now researching because we would have sparked them, sparked the zeal within them, the natural zeal within them for their African history and heritage. So parents, I'm encouraging you visit our website or just email me priestisaacinstitute at gmail.com and find out you know what we have the different offers that we have as it relates to the different courses and programs that are available for your young ones and again the international homeschool program uh, um, itself which goes for a value of over 300 dollars you know remember this is a year program very compact extremely comprehensive the 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 sort of uh, uh, um, uh, uh, levels that your child or children will attain just being in our classes trust me you will be happy uh, uh, with the end results that you get after they pass through this rudiment stage of our international homeschool program and of course we are building on it we are adding to it almost daily. You understand? You have short, neat videos like what you just saw. You have lengthier classes from 15 to 20 minutes where we go into a bit more detail with the child. You have, uh, uh, they have their, their assignments that they have to do. They have their projects that they have to, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, present to us. Also, they have their quizzes that they will receive. So it's a very interactive, a very active in general homeschool program, a very efficient homeschool program that we have created here. And not only created, it is continually growing. It is continually advancing the international homeschool program that we are providing to you. So family, it is a very... Um, a very, I would say, inexpensive investment. You're not just buying something here. You, you are investing in the mind of your child or the minds of your children as it relates to the African history and heritage as well. Building a love within them for higher education. Imagine your young two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old is telling you about the black hole and explaining to you. Remember, they're learning to speak at the same time. So instead of teaching them duck, and, and this is a bird, of course, you see, we are teaching them that as well. But we are also teaching them photosynthesis. Don't be afraid to tell the young ones photosynthesis. Teach them about the Dogans and let them know that the Dogans could see Sirius A plus Sirius B, Potolo and Sigitolo. Don't worry, they can understand that. And by the time they're six and seven, they will be telling you the very same thing. So family, make sure that you contact us and make sure you become a part of the International Homeschool Program. In fact, what I'm going to do right now, we're going to just take a quick look inside the temple of Abu Simbel in, uh, in ancient Kemet, which was prepared by the great Ramesses II of the 19th dynastic period. Of course, Ramesses II is the great Ursa Ma'at Ra, Setepen Ra, Ramesu Meri Amen. Your young children, those of you who have your children on our international homeschool program, they know that. They know Ramesses II is not Ramesses II. They know his name is Ursa Ma'at Ra. Go and ask them. Setepen Ra. Go and ask them. Ramesu Meri Amen. Because we teach all of that family on our international homeschool program. Very good. So let us just take a quick look into Abu Simbel. As I said, many of your young ones already know what is inside of Abu Simbel. Of course, this was created again by the great Ramesses II 
Many of these statues that you see, well, these statues are really statues of Ramesses II. In fact, we will be doing a program very soon where we will be taking an extensive look inside of this temple. Right now, we're just somewhat breezing through. We are looking here at the great Ursa Ma'atra Ramesu Murray Amman on his chariot attacking the, the, the Asian fortress. You see him here, you know, doing his works, attacking the enemy. Uh, uh, also, you see him here as well, uh, um, killing a, a, a Libyan uh, enemy as well. The enemy is from Libya because, of course, that is how it is in ancient Kemet. You would see the, the temples of the kings really ordain or adorned with all of the pictures of the king, his family, um, his exploits, his battles, you know, uh, the great works that he would have done. Here you see the great Ramesu again smiting his enemies. And listen, Ramesu is known as one of the great comedic uh, pharaohs or kings, Nessi or, or Biti. The Nesu Piti, that is the real term for the pharaoh. We say pharaoh in the Western world, but this is not really pharaoh. It is Nesu Biti, or the ancient Egyptian king, or the Kemetic king. Now, Ramesses II, or Ramesu, is known as Ramesses the Great. And the reason why he's called Ramesses the Great, because he was the individual that really did the most conquering as it relates to the Kemetic kings. He was the individual specifically that finished off what is known as the temple at Kana. So he was definitely applauded for such. Now, what is interesting about this temple here is the room where you have the statue of four outstanding characters in ancient comedic history and mythology. Now you have Pata, you have the god Amun, you have a statue of Ramesses II himself, which is the king, and you have a statue of Sokar. Now Sokar and Amun and Pata are considered gods or deity or the Neter. So in other words, they were not supposedly real human beings. But now you have um, Ramesses or Ramesu, who is a real human being. He was the one that built this whole complex here. So you have a statue of him uh, in between basically two of the main gods. And to the far right, you have another chief god, which is known as Pata. Now, at a specific time of the year, the sun will go down this corridor, well, the light of the sun, I should say, would shine down the corridor and, 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 and uh, illuminate this room and shine the light on these three figures, leaving out the Pata figure from the illumination. Now, that within itself is a mystery, a mystic, something we would have touched upon before, and we will go into it in depth in a later, um, a later program. So the um, illumination, again, would just illuminate Pata, well, not Pata, Amun, Ramuses II, and Sokar, and leave out Pata, but that's very mystic. You could also see the bark. You see the carving of the bark, and of course, the ancient box that would represent what we know as the Ark, like the Ark of the Covenant, because remember, we have many Arks in ancient Kemet, for sure. So as I said, family, in the future, we will be doing an in-depth walkthrough of this temple here, the Temple of Ramesu, the Temple of Ramesses II, Ursa Ma'atara, Setepenra, Ramesu, Mary, Amun, we will be looking at the walls. We will be going through each corridor. We will be examining the glyphs and doing our best to explain what everything means. So this is going to be a beautiful sit down or beautiful walk through when we literally reach to that aspect. But keep in mind, family, your young ones, 
your children, those of you who have young ones on our international homeschool program, we carry them through different temples in ancient Kemet. It's almost as if we are carrying them on field trips around the world when you are a part of our international homeschool program. So family, you cannot lose at all with your young ones when you enroll them in our international homeschool program. Trust me, it will definitely advance their thinking and you as the parent, without a doubt, will be very happy that you partook of such a program. Take it from your brother. Blessed love.